contributions made by our band members, cheerleaders, and our basketball players and managers. We thank them for their countless hours they have dedicated to the basketball program here in Austin for the past four years. Seniors, along with our thanks, we have a rose that you may present to someone who has helped you to enjoy your passion the past four years. So when I call your name, please come forward to receive your rose from Coach Oliver. First, Josh Taylor, son of Brandon T. Brother of Monroe and Julia Taylor of Bandit. Tristan Jackman, son of Angelina and Chuck Jackman of Amy. Josh Foster, son of Chad and Michelle Foster of Lewis. And receiving a band, uh, excuse me, a rose for band and basketball, Seth Papago, son of Wayne Kennedy of Austin and Doug Papago of Austin. And manager Hunter Tappy. <laughs> and now we're starting on our first for the visiting Ashland Hornet. A senior number one, Drew Dowie. A junior number three, Josh Celeste. A junior number ten, Sam Craig. A junior number twelve, Dave Page. And a junior number twenty-two, Amy Rothier. And now starting up. Line up for your Hodgson Hawks. Hodgson number 32, the Walker Allen. A senior number one, Kristen Jackson. A senior number three, Josh Taylor. Josh Foster. And the senior, number 15, Seth. The Hawks are coached by Mr. Matt Oliver. Ashland is coached by Lucas Grange. Folks, uh, the national anthem will be uh, played before the girls game, so we're going to play basketball. But we ask you to please um, stay, stay in your seats at the end of the boys game. We have a special dedication to be done at that time.
Thank you. 
And they would accompany him on many nights as well as others. And some of you probably sat there at some time along with him. He would make at least one trip to the concession stand, and on some nights, depending on the length of the game, he would make multiple ones. And one thing he did every night, and there was a game, he would take time to shake the hands of all the Hodgson players and coaches and wish them good luck. And if you had time, he would sit and talk with you, although he may not hear anything that you said. <laughs> I imagine many conversations were had on that in those chairs in that area. Some of you with Danny in the home corner of the gym, you'd be able to sit with him and talk with him. His other two friends, Roy and Chuck, could always be found just inside the door as well, sharing smiles and enjoying watching the Hawks play, as they too would share stories that took place in this gym, give you a handshake, and wish you good luck. Tonight, we'd like to take a moment to honor Danny and to let his family, friends, and others know that the chairs, again, at the home bench, the away bench, and the score table have been purchased in memory of them. And we also have something special for you, too, and Jimmy, the son of Danny, for you all tonight. So if you seniors would go over, please, inside the, the weight room there. As these three go over there, tonight we have a chair for Roy, we have a chair for Chuck, and we have a chair for Danny. chairs will always be sitting in this spot for you three. If you sit in one of the empty chairs, maybe you learn a story about Danny, maybe you get to hear from Chuck or Roy or maybe when Jimmy's out. May his memory and love for this community and family live on as you sit in these chairs and may his love and passion for community be passed on for generations to come. Thank you. get out so a silver Toyota if you own that please
cheerleaders and our basketball players and managers. We thank them for their countless hours they have dedicated to the basketball program here at Hodgson over the past four years. Seniors, along with our thanks, we have a rose that you may present to someone who has helped you to enjoy your passion the past four years. So when I call your name, please come forward to receive your rose. And we're going to start with the band, so Mr. Walker's here to help with the presentation. First one is Leif Gog, son of John Gog of Littleton. Catherine Berube, daughter of Melissa Berube of Hodgkin and Dave Berube of Loveland. And Ben Walker, son of Scott and Sharon Walker of Hodgkin. And if Coach Nair could come forward and help with the presentations for the senior cheerleaders. And Elizabeth Boyette, daughter of Adeline and Floyd Boyette. McGillicuddy, daughter of Mary and Eddie McGillicuddy. And a rose for band and basketball goes to Autumn Ganzel, daughter of Ben. He's going to present the rose to Mr. Drake, the former coach. This is whiteout at Hodgson High School tonight. Everyone that wore a white shirt of some kind, your name was put in the bucket, and the National Honor Society, who sponsored whiteout, is giving a free T-shirt to the winner, and that winner is Brooke Wheeler for the contest, and Mr. Allah and Miss Bradstreet. And now the starting lineups first for the visiting Ashland Lady Hornets, a junior number one, Danny Cowden. A junior number 10, Haley Cunningham. A junior number 11, Jamie Poole. A freshman number 15, McKenna Condon. And a junior number 22, Willow Hall. Thank you. 
Approached by Mr. Wendell Harvey, and he is assisted by Mrs. Lacey Cleary. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Gentlemen, remove your hats. As the Hodgton Middle High School Band, under the direction of Mr. Scott Walker, and with seniors Leaf Goff on tuba, Ben Walker on clarinet, Seth Tapley on sax, and Catherine Baruti on flute, plays our national anthem.
she gets two shots.
Nice! 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 Yeah. 